Hello, my name is Wilmba, and I am a Somerville City Councillor running for re-election. I still remember when I immigrated to this country in 2010 on a diversity lottery visa from Cameroon. It was the opportunity of a lifetime, and I particularly remember discovering Somerville and instantly falling in love with this great city. The generosity of the people the diversity, the art, the progressive politics, music, and activism made me never want to leave. But it wasn't easy for me early on. I struggled to find affordable apartments to rent and a good paying job. I was even displaced temporarily to a neighboring community because of rising rents. Just to put this to scale, I moved five times in six years. My story is not unique in Somerville. It was this struggle to remain in the city I love that drove me to run for city council the first time. And it is my determination to fight to keep Somerville a community for all, including the future artists, the future workers, the future immigrants, and the future William Bart that drives me to run for a second term. That mission of keeping Somerville a community for all has been my focus since I first took office. And I have made great progress, but there's still so much work to be done. I have proven in my first term that I will take tough votes and do what is right to preserve and empower our great community, to stand with workers, to promote equity, and to push our city forward on the path to environmental justice. We need to preserve and empower our great community here in Somerville. We have taken important steps to do that in my first term, and we need to celebrate that. We passed a condo convention ordinance to crack down on the forces of speculation that continue to displace the most cherished and vulnerable members of our community. We passed a transfer fee that will also target out-of-town real estate developers and investors in order to fund affordable housing that we desperately need. Why this home rule has yet to pass at the state level? Pressure is building as other cities take up the call and follow Somerville's lead. We passed important regulations against Airbnb renters in our city. Without this protection, speculation will run wild, and the number of regular renters available in the city will decline. Properties will be bought by investors with the sole purpose of being used as permanent Airbnb hotel in our community. That is just not right. We recognized and supported the creation of the Union Square Neighborhood Council a democratically elected council that can truly have a say in how a community should benefit from development. We also help support and fund the newly created Office of Housing Stability, led by the talented housing advocate, Ellen Schachter. These are important measures to tackle the issue of affordability in our community and slow down the forces of displacement. We need to stand with workers at a time when they need our support more than ever. Wages are flat. Unions are under attack, especially at the national level. And more and more residents in this city are struggling to afford to stay. We need to strengthen our wage theft ordinance to ensure it can be used effectively to punish businesses that treat their workers unfairly. We need to support the picket lines when our fellow workers go out on strike. We need to promote high wage and good paying jobs right here in Somerville. And we need to reward our local businesses that are doing that the right way. 
I want to look into ways we can incentivize worker-owned cooperative businesses as a way to create these jobs. We need to look at the issue of equity in this city. I'm all too aware of my leave status as the only person of color on the city council. In this role, I try to bring a voice to the issue of equity. I'm going to fight to make sure that this issue does not get put on the back burner. We need a restorative justice program in this community, beginning with our policing. I've requested a study of minority-owned businesses, especially those owned by women and people of color in the city. And I'll push for the creation of programs that help those businesses and those owned by immigrants against the forces of gentrification and displacement. We need to look at the city's hiring practices and appointment process for people of color and immigrants so that we can get a voice and sit at the table. We need to see our immigrant brothers and sisters represented in, in all branches of municipal government. Unless we have a government that is reflective of the community itself, I can assure you that equity will just be lip service. I'm proud to have passed the welcoming ordinance to stand with our fellow immigrant brothers and sisters in our community. Finally, I care deeply about our environment. And in my next term, I will build off on the success of the plastic straw regulation and the tree preservation ordinance to ensure we are doing what we can as a city to fight climate change, grow our tree canopy, and promote green and open space. You get four votes for a large city councillor. And, and I'm asking for your support and one of your votes so that I can continue this important work in my second term. Standing up to the powers of greed, speculation, and displacement, protecting all the members of this great community. To find out more about me and my campaign, or to sign up to volunteer and get involved, please visit my website at www.willmba.com or look me up on Facebook at Somerville City Council, Willmba at large, on Twitter at Councilor Mba or Instagram at Will underscore Mba. Thank you very much and God bless you.